Hello, welcome back to Fractos. This uh, strange, abstract, neon musical game. I did spend a little bit of time just now searching for the pink hub kind of level and completely failing to find it. So, I instead, instead of wandering around more just yet, I'm going to start poking away at the green land here. Neon green glowy bits. Where... Oh, that's where the path goes. Follow the path and let's see what sounds this one has to offer. So we had blue was base and pink was lead. So what is green going to be? Oh well this is the... this is the... Uh, fast travel station for the green hub. Uh, that's interesting because we have had a lot of trouble finding the blue hub, sorry, the pink hub, and the green hub is uh, just here, I guess. Maybe. Where does this path take us? Uh, right, nowhere that I can actually go just yet. Let's let's undo that. Let's follow the other branch, the other fork. So we're looking for the green level number one. Oh, that's right, we have these uh, transporters. So I think that takes us to number one up here. I guess the down arrow takes us back there, or maybe even takes us to the hub. Number one. We have a ramp down to a lower floor, but there don't appear to be any controls down there. At least not yet. Those are very different than uh, what we've seen before in the previous levels. Or is this a control? We do have some kind of controls here. Spinning. We spun 360 degrees. That's where we started. Oh, I see. We've got two arms on this. So if I spin 270 degrees, we can connect up those two areas, alright? So let's spin around to there. No, that's not what I wanted. There. Yeah, so we can get to these two bits. I, maybe that's important. Let's see what's here. Another rotary control. And here. Get another one. Alright, let's connect up. That goes nowhere. That goes nowhere. So let's connect up these two. So turn this one... Just 90 degrees. Alright. Uh, this one's got two arms on the opposite side, so let's turn it 90 degrees as well to connect those. That doesn't open. I really don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I have no idea. That's green and all lit up. It says it's doing something right. These other ones are not lit up. Is that important? I mean, it's obviously got some relevance. Uh, okay, so what happens if I turn this another 90 degrees? Does that rotate with it? It does. Whoops, too far. Alright, so we've got input and output. Right, okay. So we need to get the power connected. So that one's okay. 
This one's not set up correctly. It's not just, it's not the pathways we need, it's the thing about this. Go too far, that one. Yep. I hope we've unlocked something up there because it pushed my camera that way. Um, but I can't get there. Is that gonna stay? Can I, do I turn it off if I push this back or not? Yeah, I do. Uh, dear. Alright. Uh, the problem was I left, leaving that one in that configuration is not useful. Wait, I fucked this up again. Um. Right, let's get the platforms lined up first, so I can get over there and back again. Which means this one needs to be another 90 degrees off. Okay, I'll be able to walk around from the far platform all the way back to the first one. If I get this one to... Whip, too far. Nope, oh, one more. Alright, this one's here. So, let's put this one back the way it was. Alright, now, go all the way back around to the first platform and let's start connecting up the power rather than worrying about the platforms. If we get the power correct, hopefully the platforms will let us proceed. So, that's the power. Okay, this one's correct already. This one needs to turn. There we go. And finally, this one needs to turn once as well. Great, is our power all connected? And now we can move on. So I kind of solved the power lines before I was in the wrong spot when it happened. What do we got here? Okay, it's not a secret server, but what is it control? Well, it's clearly telling us that something about these being important, right? Let's just let them all up and see what happens. Very slow BPM. Something there. Alright, let's just look at this uh, straightforwardly. We have the top track is the near one or the far one? The near one. And it's very slow to build up to its full, I say capacity, but uh, 
how many beats does it take to build up to full? Four is not enough. Five? Six beats, I think. Yes. Wow. I don't have six beats, right? What's it sustain like? Does it build up to full with just five beats? No. It does need. So it does seem to need six beats. What if I alternate? No, as soon as it drops off, it uh, it drops out. So that needs six continuous beats. Okay, let's look at uh, the far one. Let's give it three beats. Three beats is enough to turn it on to full, and it has quite a lot of sustain. Okay, so what if we... But not, not enough sustain. So what if we do this? What if we start building this one? It's going to get around again, because it's... Start building the first one, which is really slow, and then have this all kick in. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Yeah, the pad step sequencer and pad modulation one unlocked. So that pointed my camera in this direction. Does that mean there's a door here that's now unlocked? Isn't this where I came in? I guess not. I guess this must be green number two. Yeah, there's the fast travel over there. Right. More power bridges. So now I know what now I know what I'm doing here, I can uh, just turn that on 180. There's the power. Unfortunately, that's not a... <laughs> that's the power connected up, but is that... Accessible. This says no power, so I don't need to turn it. This one says no power, but what is it? Oh, this is turning both, isn't it? So turn this 90 degrees, and we've just cut the power off. But we can go upstairs. Go back. Oh, we can't go back. Um, that's inconvenient. We can't even walk around this. Well, there's no pathway there, so turning this one seems pointless, right? Yeah, this one, I mean, it can rotate it or something. Oh, no, I don't. Do I have any controls? What's this? I don't know what that, those arrows are. Okay. Oh, I can turn that from here. No problem. I didn't think I could turn it unless I was standing on it. Right, so now we're here. Now we just need to turn it uh, back. That way, I think. To connect up the power, but. Oh, wait. But not the bridge. We need the bridge. We need the bridge. Where's the controls? Bridge first. Then, since we can control it when we're not standing on it, we can put the power back up. Great. Alright, that's the door open. Where does that bring us? To the fast travel, for starters. Hello. And we can get up here to whatever these things are. There's another secret here. So we've got three things now to get to direct power to that, so let's start with, that's going to be the furthest one, let's see how it behaves. Let's give it two pulses. Right, that's very slow to build. How many does that need? This looks like it needs six to power up, okay. That's really slow. Oh wait, that's the, that's the furthest one, that's the end. Right, let's check the next one. Let's get two pulses. 
This one's fast. Is it three or four it needs? Four is definitely enough, but I'm not sure if three is enough. Three is enough for it, okay. And what about the middle one? Oh, two is enough for the middle one. Alright, so if I get you on six, wow, that, that takes forever to drain away as well. We're missing something there. Alright, new doorway. to green th three or green triangle wait what oh hello what's this do yeah it does not let me interact with it but it has controls that appear um you unlock this door for me, but it seems to be a dead end. Do I have to finish... Like, this is pink. Does this mean this only works if I've actually finished the pink world? That's possible. I don't know. Hmm. I definitely can't get anywhere from here, so... So now what? So uh, frustrating. Once more, the world is being opaque. I can't jump. Something else around here to interact with is there? Nope. Just that, and it's currently inoperative. Maybe I need. Maybe I do need to finish the pink world first. Uh, where's our fast travel? Yeah. I'm finishing the pink world is a problem because I can't find the pink hub with which to do so. Well, let's go back to pink number four and uh, see if we get any clarity. That big place down the middle must be like the final level after you've finished. Maybe that, or maybe that's the green hub. I don't know. Uh, where are you going? Long way around. So there was this cave covered with pink crystals. With um, you can't quite see it from here, but down there, where well, it definitely looked like there was some kind of building or structure. What's this? Have I been there? I haven't. Oh, hang on. Let me off! I think I saw where I need to go. It was back at pink. Whichever one that was. One? Maybe that's pink one. This is pink four. Alright, let's, let's go back to pink. Let's say, let's go back to pink 2. See if that's what that, the one I just passed was. No, it's taking us elsewhere. It's taking us somewhere entirely different. Oh, wait, is pink 2 the one in this cave of crystals? Maybe? No? This is a different, a different cave of crystals. God, I'm so lost. Uh, I don't think Big 2 is the one I was looking at, right? Uh, 
Back to pink four. So where was I coming from? I was coming from green something, right? I don't want to go all the way back just to see the same site, but I don't know if I take a different path if it'll send me a different route. Let us try... Go from here to pink one. Which direction does that take us? All right, that takes us back the way I was wanting to go. Where I saw a path of hexagonal crystals. Somewhere. Where was the hexagonal crystal path? I don't know. There. There. And that's the, that's the pink harp. I saw the fast travel. Alright, I know which direction I need to go now. It just doesn't mean I know how to get there, but I do know which direction to go. So let's have a look and see if there's uh, any indication of a pathway. Maybe so there. Maybe I can walk over those. Oh, I'm gonna there. Oh, hello. Right, so this is how we get to the pink hub that I couldn't find. Good to know. Alright, around, around that way, okay. Alright. Come on, drop some more things in front of me. Well, I don't know where the controls are, but here is the fast travel station that we've just unlocked. Um, is the controls near the fast travel station, or are they elsewhere? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over there. This and this is actually the same place, I think, that I was seeing from from a distance. It's this big, big building structure thing in um, in this hovering above this cave of pink crystals. So yes, that was a hub, but uh, I had entirely the wrong direction trying to get to it before. And someone just took the lid off. I guess we go in. Okay, let's see what if what we need to do, if we need to do whatever we can. Oh, to finish pink. Right. I'm immediately seeing these grids of stuff. I don't know if I can interact with them at all. But at the four different pink places, there were these vantage points, viewing points, which each had a grid associated with a symbol. The symbol had crosshairs putting it in one of the sections. And I thought that was like something that we'd be able to control later, but maybe that is actually telling us what we need to do here. That seems to me the more likely explanation. So I'm just going to quickly draw the 5x5 grids for now. I'll do a bit of trial and error here, but it's probably going to be more effective for me to fast travel back to all the other places. See what their little viewpoints are telling us, and then come back here and activate them. We'll see. Anyway, obviously, you know, we've got a 5x5 five by five grid here, we've got a 5x5 five by five grid at those little uh, viewpoints. That's got to be connected. This world doesn't have as much logic as I would like, but it does tend to match things up like that. We do have patterns here as well, so we can do some sequencing. I don't know what the relevance is. Oh, I see, we can... Uh, position these pads in places once we got them firing up yeah so 
we can... You made it sound terrible. Alright, I'm going to need to know what the correct pad positions are, I think, for this to work. So, let's go back. Is there a lift here? Can we get back? Are we stuck? That's how we, that's how we came in, but I can't get out that way. Uh, help. I've escaped my horrible sounds. I don't see any controls. What if I just fall in? If I fall down, do I reawaken back at the fast travel station? I reawaken... Near the fast travel station. Close enough. Alright, so now we're going to fast travel back to each of the pink sections. Find their little mystical viewpoint to find out what their paths should be set to. Um, let's go in order, number one. So this is telling me also, giving me a hint as to what I need to do uh, for the blue world where I wasn't able to figure out what to do in its hub. I need to go back to each of its sections, I think, and look for clues as to what the sequences or what the patterns and things should be set to there. Because for the blue world, it wasn't. Number one had nothing, but number two, three, four, and five each had a rotary control of some kind. So I guess in the blue levels, two, three, four, five, we also have hints in the world as to what the rotary control should be set to. That looks like squares up there. I'm guessing that's the side where we're going to get the, the uh, pad position. Take a lift to the next floor. sometime. You know, I really should just screenshot it and uh, and do it that way. Alright, so come back over here and it looks like we might have a viewing platform there. Yeah, there's a thing. Now, is that number one or is that, does that belong to number one or does that belong to number two? Because this is number two there. We'll find out. It'll have the symbol on it. This is number one. So number one, dead center. Okay. Great. Next. Unfortunately, that means uh, we're not at the fast travel station, so we're going to have to walk. But it's not far to go. Uh, uh, famous last words. Uh, 
bollocks. Yeah, down among all these roots. Let's just jump off this edge as well. And that should take us back to a fast travel station. For better or worse. Or it takes us back to... I don't even know where we are anymore. Um, where are we? Well, there's another viewpoint. Is that the one I was just at, or is that a different one? It's got to be a different one, right? Now, paranoid about falling off places. Seems too easy. Oh yeah, I just fell off, fell off there, alright. So, this is number two, so we can go up to the top of number two here, maybe. And find out the best the way to get there. Alright, let's go back into number two, take the lift to the top, and find its little uh, viewing location. To find out where I should set its pads. So once again, it's not about, you know, what where do you set the pad that sounds good to you, or match a rhythm, or match a sound, or anything like that, it's just find a visual in the level and match up, match it up later on. Oh, I don't know. That's fine. For a game that's supposed to be a, about music, I would have preferred actual sort of musical puzzles. Rather than really puzzles containing music, which is kind of what we've got here. Alright, so where is the viewing platform for number two gonna be? Yeah, let's, let's walk around the walk around the edges. See if I can see it. See if we can see a, a little viewing spot. Oh, yeah. Maybe over this way. We got some crystals and stuff. Let's let's take a take a quick gander. Bring us back to this uh, little blue cylinder. Alright, back to the edges of blue three. around and see if we can see it. So that's the fast travel for Blue 3 and I would have expected to have seen the viewing point before now. Maybe it's... Maybe it is out this way. I can see some squares hovering the sky. I'm not really seeing an angle on that. I think they're the ones we were seeing from the uh, number one's point of view. Right, back up here. Let's walk around to the other side of the, uh, of the dome here. Aha, that looks like the squares I'm looking for. This is definitely the right place. So, there's our 505 grid. Oh, no, this is the wrong one. This is number three, alright? But, I'll mark that. 
If I've only got, if I only find uh, three out of the four, that's probably all right because uh, I can brute force one of them. Only twenty-five positions, but brute forcing all four would be ridiculous. All right, so I'm missing number two. I'll let it go for now. I'll just fast travel off to number four. I'll come back to number two and take another look, but um, after number four. But if we don't find if we don't find it, I'll just uh, go back to the harbor and brute force it. Okay, that's the viewing point there. That's easy to see. Yeah, come on, let us off. I know where I need to go. And maybe the fast travel flying through the air will actually let us see where the viewing point is as well. Which would be nice. Uh, for number two, that is. Definitely helped here for number four. Alright. What do you got for us? You are dead center at the bottom. Back to fast travel and let's go quickly back to number two on pink and see if we can spot its uh, viewing location as well. Oh, uh, hey Tony Bob. <laughs> it says, Thief 2 looking weirder than I remember. Did I actually leave? I did, I left the stream title all wrong. The stream says I'm streaming Death's Cold Embrace. Um, if I to fix that, I would have to alt tab out, which minimizes the game. So I'm not going to fix that just yet. I'll fix that later. He also says I have no no idea what's happening, but the hula hoop zoomers are cool. And this is I think he's referring to this fast travel system we're traveling on right now. It's kind of hula hoop zoomers. Well, that's a app description. So this is, to describe what's happening, there's, oh, I see where we need to go. We're doing sort of visual musical puzzles. They're more, the puzzles are more visual in their components, musical in their effects, um, to try and unlock access to the next area. Okay, we have number two hours up in there in the top right corner. Almost, well, second from right. Okay, so we have the four pad positions, and which is what we need at the pink hub world. There's been four pink levels uh, that we've unlocked, or that we've successfully unlocked. And in the hub level here, you can tell what we've unlocked because it lights up the symbol underneath, and we haven't finished the hub there. And we've gone through all the blue world, but again, haven't finished the hub. And the green world, we've just started, and at green number two, I hit a blockage that was colored pink and I couldn't get past so that's why I'm going back to complete the pink world because I think I need it to progress in the green world. So let's see what happens in the pink hub. Now we have the four pad positions. We can hopefully finish it off. Okay and there was the eight slots and four patterns to fill the slots. I'm not really sure if there was any indication what those should be. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. We at least know some of the solution here. So, the pink hub is down here and bit of a fall away. I'm seeing another kind of sequence of pattern over there, but it's not very distinct. So, here we go. Yeah, we I was setting the pads randomly and we've got this rather horrific uh, sound just now. Alright, shut up guys. Uh, oh, we need them going to actually set them. Alright, let's... 
Alright, number one should be there. Number two here. Number three there. And number four there. something right the button secrets are unlocked all right that's all we needed okay that's giving us a nice ramp out So that is the pink world completed. Um, that suggests also that we should know how to finish the blue world just now. But I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to go back to what, where I was stopped from proceeding back in the green world and see if see if uh, completing the pink world has made me able to progress there. If I'm right, we're probably going to run into another blockage that's colored blue or something like that after the pink one, which is fine. We'll just discover this as it happens. It's a long way. And it's not a very direct way. There's a central hub. Oh, I see. The pink one is all fully powered up now. Yep. Whereas the blue is missing its uh, big central power line there, and the green we've only got the two that we've done so far. That's the green hub, but we won't go there for a while. So what this what this lesson of uh, things that we could see from the pink world has suggested to me is that there were things we should have seen and taken notes of in the green two green levels I've unlocked so far that will be important to the green hub so on the one hand that's a good question is there something we should have seen around here that would have been relevant this is this is the lift I think that takes us back I'm just having a very quick look around to see if there's like some pattern of something that I should have seen. It's nothing's kind of standing out to me. Wait, where am I going? That's green number three. Hang on. Can I just walk over there? What? What? I'm confused. So when I finished green number two, it unlocked that door over there, I think it was? No, it's this door here. It unlocked this door here, and behind this door was a pink colored pillar that I couldn't interact with, and an obstruction here, and I couldn't proceed. And I thought, if I finish the pink world, I'll be able to interact with this, right? No. Apparently not. However, what I am seeing is this is a symbol showing a number two slider. Uh, sorry. Rotary encoder and a position on that. So I'm just going to make a note of that. Maybe that's going to be relevant at the hub. Let's assume that's going to be relevant at the hub. And it wasn't progressing my progress. You know, it wasn't stopping me progressing to the next uh, green puzzle at all, that it was simply uh, 
giving me a clue that I didn't realize I needed. All right. I guess this will take us to the next green number three, right? No. Maybe. Where is this taking us? This looks like it's taking us trying to take us back to the hub. Because this doesn't go anywhere. Alright, back. I'll just go up the ramp and over the wall, which seems to be make it possible to get to green number three. Because I can see another ramp there. I don't know if this is that just a pattern or is that actual? Like, there's a big grooves. Yeah, we would get stuck in those maybe. On the ramp, here we are at green puzzle number three. Is it? Or is this screen number one? Wait. That is screen number three. Definitely. Look at the fast travel over there. Yeah. Alright. So, this power is already connected up, but we need to get across to the other side. So let's turn this 180 degrees. Well, let's just get up here at least. Maybe. Come on. Yeah. Right, fast, fast travel's unlocked. So through that door must be the clue we need for this level. But before I do that, where do we go from here? We have here... Another rotary control... Oh, no, this is something entirely new. Oh, this is a up and down control, not a rotary control. Interesting. Well, let's keep that in mind, but uh, I can't do anything with it just yet. This side, we have no power conduits at all, so we don't need to worry about the power connections. There is a power connection on this one, but there's also a physical connection. Alright, so the power needs to come across there. What controls do we have here? Here we can rotate. For all the good it does us. There's actually no other platforms to connect to. Ah, oh, but we do have a power connection there as well, it looks like. So, let's go 180 degrees. Is this rotary controls? That's rotary controls. So if I turn this one, let's say all the way back there to begin with, that should hook up the power on that lower level, yeah. Ah, I see, and it comes down on the upper level here. Oh, weird movement, weird collision. Alright, so that connects the power up to there, but not, not everywhere it needs to be. Uh, we need a ramp, so we need to rotate 270 degrees just now. Well, I guess 180 would have done it, but that's right. That'll let us get across. And then I'll put it back, and we'll have the power over here. Right, so that's, that's where we need to be to get the power. But before that... We need to rotate that one in the corner and we need to get to that first. And the only way to get to it is with this lift. So I guess we need to get on this lift and lift it up a floor. Or rather down. Down two floors. Get on the upper platform, then upper floor. And then we should be able to get across that bridge. No wait, we need to go to the bottom first. We need to go to the bottom first. So that we can unlock the controls. Alright. Let's go back. Let's go back to here. Let's rotate you. That much, I think. Yep. Connect up the bridge. 
down here. Let's get on and go down the floor. Just one. And that should let us go here and activate this control. Right, and now we need to rotate 270. To get around here. So I don't know what the power connections look like since, yeah, I'm just uh, unlocking controls. Alright, controls activated. So here we also have a lift. But not a rotation. Alright, so now we can get up to the next floor, I guess. For better or worse. Okay, so... Does this lift... It does move its power conduit as well, so that needs to be there for the power, right? This one needs to be... Oop, that's too far, I think. There, maybe? That's where it needs to be for the power, I think, but uh, for us to get off, it needs to be there. So it has the power coming in. Oh no, this is the right angle for the power as well, okay. What about this one? That's clearly the wrong height, yeah? No, it needs to be at the top. Whoops! Oh well. Uh, that was not what I meant to do, but... Right, um... I actually think that might... Well, it won't let us get up there, because I messed that up. But it might let us get the power everywhere we need to be. Let's take that back down again. At least now that we have all the controls active, we should... As long as we can get to the things, get onto the platforms, we can... Or even near the platforms, we can control them. So let's turn this one around again and get the power hooked up. comes. Now comes to here. Alright, we can't cross that way. The only way we get around is by going down that way. I forgot about that. Alright, let's put it back again. Oops, let's not fall off. Okay, so. Alright, done with you. You stay. Now we want to be on... I think we just want to be on the top platform here, right? Yeah, because we've got the power coming in here. Oh, but I can't get onto the top platform. From this side. Uh, because it doesn't have a platform jutting out. Now we're too high. Go back to the middle. Now you can go up to the top, because we need you at the top. And you rotate back this way. Which disconnects the power, but lets me get across. Then... 270... Should connect the platform. And I'll worry about the rotation later, because I need to come here and change floors. Go up a floor to get off the platform onto there. But then I need to send it down the floor to connect the power. Okay. You come back around here, I think. Nope, there. Um. Okay, that lets us. Well, it's unlocked. Uh, sequencer over there. It's all very well and good, but now I have to disconnect it again so I can actually get up there to make my way to the sequencer. Alright. The door should here should activate in a second. Yes. Great.
Let's go up about with uh, four things this time. Okay, four tracks, I guess. No, just three. Ah, oh, two of them together. All right. Let's see how these power up. I'll just start with the bottom one. See how long it needs to power up. So it powers up with just two, but uh, turns off really quickly. The next one. Needs six, I think. Yeah, needs six to power up. No, more than that, seven. Six and eight, right? What about these one? That's pretty quick to power up. Two is not enough, but three, three is, but then it uh, once again falls off really quickly. Right, that one's gonna need at least six. This one needs at least two. That one probably needs at least three. Let's sustain them all for one more beat as well. White because we uh, started a little too late in the sequence, but um, that looks like the right approach. Nope, I missed something up there. What's what's switch, what's switching off to first? Right, we're losing number one first. This is coming in too late. That's the really slow one. I need to start sooner. section. Oh, here we are. Here's our clue for number three. On a different looking pillar, but that's okay.
I don't know what the clue on number one was, but I guess either I'll find out or I'll brute force it. It looks like there's only eight different uh, angles on there, so it should be easier to brute force than the XY pads were. Alright, let's unlock the fast travel. So we can see a door there that's presumably where to progress. I see another one of those pink pillars. Is that the clue we need? It is indeed. Alright, let's note that one down as well. Pencil and paper. Can't be beaten. Diamond. And let's go up. Firstly, where's the power? Okay, there's any storage that way for power. Where can I connect to? There's a bridge there. And there's no bridges to this level. So falling down was the right thing to do anyway. Can I make the jump? I can. Right, so let's just hook that up for power then. Which is going to be... That, I think. Yep. Whoa. Is that all you needed? Everything else was already hooked up to get the power through. Now we just need to turn it all off as we make our way across and then turn it all back on again, I guess. Weird. Alright, um. You go back to where you were. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. You need to come here to unlock the controls. Turn you back around again. So that I can go upstairs. Up the ramp. Uh, rotate this one. Yep. Get on the ramp. Brings us up here. Now we can get across here and down to the next one. So, where does this one connect? It doesn't. So we're kind of stuck right now. Huh. That's unfortunate. Or maybe we can progress at this level. No, we can't get across here. How do we get across? There's no connections at all on that side. And there's no connections at all on this side. Right? Let's only turn this around to get the power connected back on. I don't think that's going to help anything. We can come here, but again, we can't get over there. Nothing, nothing connects to the middle either. What the hell do we do from here? What am I missing? What am I missing? There's something I'm missing. Just don't know what it is. Alright, let's just put that back so the power connects up.
So the power being connected up doesn't activate any bridges or anything. I, mean, I could just go all the way back down there. There's no harm in doing so. But it doesn't really help. Oh, it, there's a door that's open. That's, is that where we came in? No. Maybe. Hey. You can fly. Or we can fall with style at least. Can I get back up here or am I kind of stuck? Now I can get back. Just. So what's through this door? Is this the way I came? Yeah. Yeah, this is the way I came. That's three, that's four. Well, do I need to get to the other side? No, I've got the clue. I've got it powered up. Paused it powered up. Oh, we need to get to the sequencer. Which is going to be up there. Yeah, that's the problem. Like we can, we haven't finished for, we've only powered up the secret, so we haven't got it playing. Um, that just takes us back here. So we're, once again, I don't know why there's two controls, right? Do they do anything different? No, they're both, that's an up and down button that both goes to the same floor. It's a little confusing. The door at the far side there is not unlocked because we haven't got to the secret server and done things yet. So we need to get over there. I can see two, another like little platform like this one like, over there. Actually, I actually can see one in the middle. So I guess we need to get to the middle. But we might need to get over there first. Now oh, what am I doing? That's useless. That is also useless. Go there. How do I get anywhere near the middle? What did I miss? What did I miss? Well, let's turn that around. Does that connect up when it's turned? This one. Maybe. Let's go up here. Rotate it back again. Oh, the game is not liking this area. So no, this we're not gonna we're not gonna reach the middle from here. That's for sure. Okay, rotate ninety. Oh, why not one eighty? Yeah. I can't get to the top of this one, can I? Wait, does the lift help me anyway? Why don't you go back where you are? Just going up and down here help me at all. I'm now at the level of that central area. They can't rotate, so that doesn't help. Maybe I can make that jump. Maybe that's maybe that's what I need to do. Uh, which means I need to. Where does where does it connect up power? Is it middle or is it top? Middle, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the top. I'm gonna set it, going to the middle and quickly make the jump, or at least try. Seems a little action oriented for this game, but uh, nope. That's not the solution. Bollocks, now I gotta go all the way back. Dear. Dear, dear, dear. Oh, I wanna finish it. I, like, almost, you know, been an hour and ten minutes here. I wanna see if I can finish this 
green number four in this episode. If I can. It doesn't take too long. Let's get back up. Let's go all the way around again. Well, if it's not that jump that I need to do, then what is it that I need to do? Maybe I need to do the jump without worrying about the controls first. Um, right, so I don't need to do anything with you except go here and here. I do need to rotate this one to get uh, onto the ramp. Just leave it for the moment. Rotate that one. Okay. Stay there. Right now, you get back. More than that. Uh, you go down the floor. You need to rotate 180, right? Set the power connected up. Yep. All right, let's go. Let's let's try the jump, but let's not try pushing it down first. And I messed up a little last time as well because I held down shift, which just slows me down. But that was out of old habits, uh, probably from playing a little too much Thief. I'm just going to see if I can make that jump this time without right at the top without adjusting this back. Let's just see. Maybe... Yeah, okay. Alright, and we can actually still control it from here. That's fine. So we can get the power back on. So now, how do we get through here? Come on. Don't, don't clip on tiny little edges. Thank you. Alright, is this a lift? Is this up and down? This is up and down. Oh, we're already at the top. Let's let's bring it down. How many floors? Two floors, I think. Okay. I'm gonna go up two floors, maybe. Oh, well, one floor is enough, but two floors is where it connects. How do we get over there? Because I can't rotate this. Can I? Does this one have any controls at all? This one has no controls. Okay. Oh, this has two controls. This has rotation and lift. Right. That's easy then. Hello. Alright, now you can go back. And is the power connected yet? Yes. So this has rotation controls. And I need to rotate 90 degrees. And that's going to be lift controls, isn't it? Lift and rotate. Yeah. Um. So that one goes back to there. This one goes back to there. I think will let me off to the middle, but it won't connect the power. And I need to rotate 180. Okay, so I'm at the middle now. But the power's not hooked up because this needs to be there and I think there. Yes! Already, so we have made it across. You can see all the controls there. To the sequencer. Time to make some music happen. Right, so now we've got four tracks and a bunch of power channels going from the left all the way up to the right there. Let's figure these out. That needs three to power up and takes 
three beats to fall off, okay? It takes three to power up and three to fall off. Takes two to power up and two to fall off. And finally, Takes seven to power that one up. Okay. Or six, and it falls off basically immediately. Still got two power ups, so let's, let's see how this works out. Uh, I had these wrong. I think. Right. So we start these. Let's start these a little sooner. Because they take three beats to fall off anyway. Let's try that. of this teleporty thing moving platform here. Let's see where this takes us. Probably to the green hub. Hopefully to the green hub. I've got three out of the contr four controls I need. Alright. So, here we are at the green hub. I'm going to end this episode here. And, uh, Take a short break. I will, thanks for watching, I'll see you here for the next episode.